What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here, OG Fitness. Hey, so I'm making this video because I want to answer a question I got from uh, one of the guys in the community. Uh, it's regarding, I'll just read it to you, a quick question about martial arts in general. I'm getting hopeless about the future with the crisis and even financial aspect. Okay, I'm not sure what you mean by financial aspect there. Uh, what I'm not sure what that means, but I, I'm guessing it has to do with work in general, right? So I'll get to that. Okay, so what do I think? And also uh, the thought that, you know, we're losing time, right? Okay, so martial arts in general. Well, it's not going to be the same for sure, especially for grappling sports or for, I mean, until we find a vaccine, okay? So it's either going to be a year and a half to, to three years, right? Something like that, like in Canada here, uh, Trudeau, our prime minister, is talking about a year and a half before we find a vaccine. And then I, I heard this other podcast where this, uh, this, uh, this scientist and this, uh, what do you call that, the geopolitical uh, economy guy was saying how essentially uh, the world's never going to go, go back to the same way it was until we find a vaccine. And that could be up to three years. So we're talking about like, okay, so one guy is saying a year and a half, the other guy is saying three years. Let's just say a year and a half to three years before they find a vaccine. And even then, like once they find a vaccine, okay, like who's to say that the vaccine is going to work effectively? You know, they kind of have to test it and all that. So they might find a vaccine, they do some tests, and then, you know, and then of course the, the virus mutates and all that. And here's the thing, um, viruses mutate, man. That's why, you know, there's flu seasons and even if you get your shots for the flu every single year, it doesn't guarantee that you're not going to get the flu, you know, but like, it'll, it'll, and even if you do, if you end up getting it, well, it's not as bad, right? So vaccines are good in that sense. Um, but the bottom line is like this, this thing isn't going away, right? And I think this is just a warm up. The way I see it is that uh, this is just like a warm up pandemic. You know where it's very contagious but at the same time the death it's not that that deadly you know for uh, for younger people people who aren't at risk it's mostly people who are um, well, older and who have compromised uh, um, you know immune systems and pre-existing conditions asthmatic whatever or stuff like that so those are the people who are gonna be wiped out unfortunately so that tends to be people 60 and over so those are gonna be the ones that are gonna die and uh, unfortunately, like they're the ones that will have to stay at home, right? Because the economy has to keep moving forward. Kind of people have to get back to work, man. You know, and and it's 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 like the economy has to move on, so to speak, right? Of course, we have to take uh, the necessary measures: social distancing, uh, these sanit like sanitation and all that. Blah 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 blah. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I think that. Um, for martial arts, it's never going to be the same. Uh, in judo, they're talking about nothing happening here in judo, Quebec. Okay, nothing happening up until uh, December, uh, December, January. Okay, so December 2009, uh, 2020, January 2021. So you know, any grappling sport where you're really close, I mean, eh, forget about it, man. I think that it's going to be a little while before we um, uh, we open up again, and uh, losing time, well. It depends what you do with your time, man. Like, that's the way I see it, you know? If you're sitting at home, wasting time, right? Like, not training, not taking care of your, uh, uh, you know, like, not moving forward, not doing something with it, not doing something productive with it, so you're not making, uh, you're not learning a new skill, you're not taking care of your fitness, you're not learning, uh, improving yourself in one way or another, then, yeah, you're wasting time. Uh, you're not in jail, dude. You're at home. You can take a walk, you can do push-ups, there's the internet. So this whole thing of like sitting at home, losing time and feeling, uh, if I'm not saying it's your case, but uh, in general, people who, who, feel, who feel down and out about themselves and stuff like that, that's, in my opinion, it's, it's a very weak mentality. It's, 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 a, it's a pussy mentality, man. If you're a warrior, you're training, you're doing what you have to do, you know, you're improving. Uh, there's so many things that you could improve upon, like on your fitness, on your uh, on your skills, on your knowledge base, on this, on that. 
you know, so sitting around, losing time, yeah, time goes by anyway, man. So it really depends on what you do with the time. Whether the, the time is wasted or not, it, it really comes down to, well, what did you do with it? Did you invest the time into a new skill, into, you know, getting better at something? In terms of martial arts, well, hey, you can't train, but you can still take care of your fitness, right? You can still, become, you can still take the time to become really strong, lose the weight you have to lose, you know, watch videos, learn, understand more technique, read up about other martial arts that you might want to try and stuff like that. So, and then prepare for when uh, when things do open up again, because they will eventually, you know. Uh, it's just a matter of time. I mean, you can't stop the world. You know, you can't, you can't tell people, okay, no more physical contact, no more contact sports, just because uh, <clears throat> of this whole COVID thing, right? Like, okay, if, if this, if, and the, the virus itself, I mean, it doesn't really impact uh, everybody. You know, it's more people who are at risk. Like some people ha might have it, but they're asymptomatic. Like they don't show any any symptoms, so they're okay, right? Whereas some people, it's like, yeah, like they'll, they'll catch it and then of course they'll, they'll have symptoms and then they'll die if they're weak. If you're not, you know, like, uh, if, you're not, uh, if you're not weak, you probably won't die from it, okay? So it's kind of like a really, really, uh, bad cake bad flu like you know it's uh it is what it is that's that's how i feel about it i might be wrong let me get let me know in the comments uh down below what you, what you guys think and uh let me know like what you guys are doing to uh to not waste your time and i don't feel like uh like hey i'm improving my cardio i'm improving my strength i'm improving my uh, my muscle mass, I'm improving everything and I'm, you know, like I'm working on my online coaching business and stuff like that. So I'm getting out of this, I'm walking out of this pandemic a champ, okay? Like successful, like, you know, I'm gonna get shit done and I'm gonna, I'm gonna achieve goals. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna make this work for me. I'm gonna take this situation and, and use it to my advantage, right? not sit around crying about if judo is going to come back or whatever because when it comes back it's going to come back i'm not worried about that it might take a little bit of time before they let everybody uh the jet the federations and, and stuff like that uh officially let people like um uh, how do you say it? uh you know start practicing again but at one point they won't be able to stop it man like some people are just gonna get tired of it you know like already by the way uh, judo is going outdoor judo is open uh, how do you say hundred percent? It's okay. You could go you could be outside bring the tamis you could throw each other You could fight each other like outside in the park and do judo. Uh, that's here in Montreal, right? and uh, Yeah, yeah, that's here in Montreal right now. So like I think it was it's effective this uh, Was it this Friday or, or, or something like that or already effective? So, you know, then it's just a matter of time before the clubs get to open again Maybe they'll be like uh, they'll say stuff like um well, yeah, it's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time because, they, you know, like it, it doesn't make sense to just keep everybody, uh, how do you say, it, locked indoors, right? Just because, especially now that we know that it's, it's a virus that really just kills old people, essentially old, weak people. So, you know, and also you can't stop people from doing what they're going to do. People want to fight and do stuff and grapple and stuff like that they're gonna do it anyway so it's either gonna be with the consent of the uh, federation or without the consent you know like what like martial art isn't gonna stop existing just because uh there's a virus and you know it kills some old people like i, I know it sounds a little bit harsh and stuff like that so but really like it's not the first time in on the on the planet okay that there's like a virus that you know kills a lot of people and stuff like that you know this stuff has happened before and it's happened worse right than this so i ain't worried about at all at all so that's it for this video guys so let me uh let me know what you think below what you're doing with your time what do you think of this whole situation um you know how are how are you guys um what do you think uh the future of martial arts is gonna be you know and uh yeah man peace